it back. Repulse the monkey. This is the old man version. Warning. Unlawful duplication of this video may lead to riots, geological upheavals, illegal spying by previously legitimate security organizations, crack use by politicians, and unnatural congress between species. Besides, you can easily purchase this video for download at relaxharder.com. Warning. Please be advised that Tai Chi is a physical activity that requires the participants to be in good general physical health. We strongly advise all viewers to consult with a qualified healthcare professional prior to undertaking any physical activity, exercise, or martial arts program. Not all exercises and techniques are suitable for everyone. Our viewers are highly exercise or martial arts program may result in injury. Please consult with a From fist under elbow, feet forward, palms up, left foot steps back, repulse the monkey, drop the hands, holding the ball, diagonal flying, palms up, Step back, pulse the monkey, holding the ball, step, diagonal fly. From here, we pivot on the right hip and face the front. And the left hand extends, palm on the toe, drop the right hand, twist, palms Looking up. at it from the back. This is all in the hips. The arms are doing nothing yet. Pivoting on the right hip, the left hip goes forward, and the left hand goes forward, and the right hand extends down and backwards. So my arms are in this nice, comfortable position. We call, I am a river to my people. Don't pull your elbow back. Now with your weight on the right leg, the left knee comes up, the right hand comes in by the ear. Step back with your left foot, place the toe, then the heel, and then shift back and turn in the right toe. From here, step back, sit back, then the right hip comes around. By the time you get your palms up here, the weight is already on the right and leg. When you pick up the foot, you can step back with your toe directly behind your heel, and then as you shift back, pivot on the heel and turn the toe in. Palms up, the left foot steps back, then shift back, pivot on the heel. right hand comes in, turns out, and extends. It does not do this. Stop. 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 In the knee. When you bring the right hand in, make sure that you're not pulling your elbow backward. The next movement, drop the hands, pivot around the left hip, and sink down. And really reach for the ground for this one. This is not simply holding the ball. The right hand should try to go way down there. Reach for the floor, for the center of the earth. Then step. Drop the hip. Line up the right thigh. Then the left hip comes around. The right hand starts to come up as soon as the heel touches the ground. Try to get your fingertips level with the top of your head. The left hip stays still. So don't buckle the left hip backwards. Diagonal flying. Feet parallel. Right hip goes forward. Palms up. Right foot steps back. Repulse the monkey. And now Will will demonstrate the skinny version. <laughs>
If I have my hand on his throat, perhaps he will grab onto my hand, try to control my hand and push it away. So I turn my hand up and pivot, and then step back and repulse the monkey. Here, I pivot, step back, repulse the monkey. Stop. Back off, get your own side. I extend it, that makes him resist against it a little. So he, he tries not to let me push him over, and then I step back. From this point here, when the elbow drops, it's very difficult for you to resist against it because you're pushing that way now. Here I push, I pull, I'm going to be in trouble. If I engage and move him over there, then it's a different story. I turn my hand as if I'm going to stick my thumb in his ear. There. And then I drop my elbow to the dantian, and he comes forward. Up. Now, his right leg is in front, so he's not going to come back this far. But that's just fine. Then I, I can still step back if I want to. But now I could also just do Wu style repulse monkey. So he punches. That's the idea. Now this rotation is around the tiger's mouth right so here. So as he punches, I'm causing his body to rotate and causing this fist to be off target. He punches. There. That's it. And now if he continues to plow through, then I step He's back. tense. This is relaxation against tension. Now you're still tense. <laughs> Movement is here. Continue him down like this into the ground. Then I step, bring this hand up, and slowly left hip goes around. So I pivot around my left hip. I drop the right hip. Right hand comes up. This is the old man version. From here, down. And the important thing about going down is that it makes him try to not go down. So he stays up. And I trap this leg here to keep him from kicking me in the face when he falls here. down. Down. Step. Here, when you go down, you're not hanging on him. You're pivoting and drawing him out of his feet into his toes. Then step, then line up the left hip. And you'll notice that what moved him there, what really got him changing direction, was this. The important thing is that you are paying attention to what you're doing. That you're feeling how you're engaging, how he's able to neutralize, how he's able to resist. And he can practice being a different kind of opponent each time. You can practice for a while with him being the Tai Chi student, who's very relaxed and comfortable. Maybe a little too relaxed sometimes. And then you can... Sorry. That's right. Very good. More practice. Tai Chi. Thank you.